What's up, keyboard nerds? In this video, I am going to be walking you through how to create macros in VIA. We're not talking about QMK and the configurator or like custom coding key maps. I actually have those videos. I'll leave links in the description below, but today, just simple macros in VIA. I'll even create some fancier ones just to show off what we can do here. So let's dive in. Macros here, macros here. What's what? What's going on here? So right now we're editing our key map. You can think of that as a tab. We're editing the key map. And if you click down here, these are just the macros available to keybind. So I have a page down on my KBD67 right here. I'm actually going to change this. I'm going to click it right here. And then let's do M3. If I just click M3, and then now it is bound. The macro 3 is bound to this button right here on my keyboard. Okay, simple enough, but right now the macro is empty. So that's what this tab is for. This is where you can actually enter stuff into these text boxes to create macros. Simple enough. So, <laughs> three very important notes. Number one, this link to the documentation does not work. And I'm pretty sure it's never worked, by the way. But the good news is, number two, it's trying to go here. QMK.FM to the documentation. If you scroll down somewhere over here, you will see key codes key codes, a, a mega list of all the different key codes you could use for your macros. If you want this button to type T, for example, you can't just hit T and then hit save. That's not going to work at all. Uh, you have to do the, what is it called? Uh, key code, KC underscore T. I just know it by heart at this point. I found it on here, KC underscore T. Put that in there and that will simulate the stroke of that key. And there's a ton of them, but bad news here. Not all of these are available in VIA. All these QMK key codes, some of them are more advanced and you can't actually make them function in VIA, to my knowledge. If somebody can get the delay functionality to work in VIA, that'd be great. Please teach me how. I don't actually think it's possible. Somebody proved me wrong. I, I'd welcome that. So you need key codes. All right. So let's start to create some macros here. So I have my macro bound. It's KC underscore T. It's saved. If I come over here and I press my key bind, boom. KC underscore T. Wait, isn't this supposed to do a T? Yes, it is, but I don't have curly brackets here. In fact, I was lying earlier. If I actually just put in a T and hit save, it would do a T. Delete that. T. T, 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 T. If you don't have brackets, it's basically like you're typing this out. In fact, if you have a word that you use all the time, like scrum diddly ump shus, you type that all the time. You want to save time and create a macro for it. I'm going to hit save again. No curly braces. I come up here, scrum diddly ump shus. In fact, it'll even do sentences or paragraphs. I really love this word and I'll hit save. If I come back over here, delete that, press my key again. I really love this word. It includes the uh, period, the comma, good to go. Now let's go back to, you know, <laughs> actual useful examples. What if I wanted to open up my email from Chrome? I'm actually just going to like come over here and let's say I do this. I did a new tab and then I started typing Gmail, but I didn't really even finished it. So what did I do there? I actually hit command T or control T if you're on windows, same sort of thing. Let's put this in here. Um, by the way, I'm just going to tell you right now. I have my key binds all screwed up for my modifier keys because I've done a bunch of this stuff in the past. So mine is actually not like it's, it's GUI. The command key on Mac is like left GUI, right GUI. Mine's not that. <laughs> left window, right windows. I'm actually going to do a curly brackets, and I am going to do this right here. Left alt is what mine is currently set to. I don't know why. I didn't actually do it this way um, anytime recently, but there it is. I'm going to hit alt. I'm going to start typing, and you can see it auto-populates some stuff here to choose from. Left alt, KC underscore L alt. Cool. It auto-populated. also dropped a comma here. If I didn't do the comma, I should just be able to close the curly braces here, hit save, and now my keybind does the left alt button, or in my case, command on my keyboard. But if I come back in here, do a comma, and then something else, like I'll say I wanted to do T to open up a new tab, KC underscore T. You can see it right there. Bunch of stuff you can do. I'm actually going to delete that comma that auto-populated there. Hit save. This should work. My fingers are crossed here. Hit my button. Boom. 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 One keystroke opens up a new tab. All right. Well, let's go further than that. Let's put in outside of the curly braces, G-me. 
I'm not even going to finish gmail.com, although you could certainly do gmail.com. I'm just going to do gmail because that's all I have to type to get gmail. Actually, let's just be safe. Gmail.com. It's fine. <laughs> I'll hit save. Come back over here and I'll hit the button. Boom. It opened up a new tab and then hit gmail.com. Now, let's do an enter key. You could do this. You could do a bracket. You could do enter, E-N-T, KC underscore T. I'm going to delete this comma. Make sure to close my thing and hit save. Now, when I come back in a second, this might actually disappear. And the reason is you can actually uh, do this toggle down here to tap enter at the end of the macro. So you don't actually have to do this step. You just delete that. Come back over here. I'm going to hit save. Well, actually, I'm going to toggle this and hit save. So let's go back over here, and I'm going to hit the button on my keyboard. Boop. Boom. Opened up my thing right there. Pretty powerful. Yes. So let's say I wanted to go a little bit deeper and open up an application on my computer. So you can do this on Windows and Mac. On Mac, I actually have Alfred. It's a program. I typed a shortcut, and it brings this up. And if I want to open Keyboard Maestro, I might start typing out Keyboard Maestro, and then I can like hit Enter, and it'll open the app. On Windows, you hit the Windows key, so you'll want to simulate, simulate that keystroke, and then you start typing in whatever the app is on your computer or the shortcut that you create, or you can actually search the web from that, right? You just hit the Windows key on your computer, so you'll do it that way. So for me, I want to do, uh, what did I just press there? Alt spacebar, except for it's not Alt, it's left Windows key. So I'm actually gonna come in here, start typing Windows, left Windows key, a comma, spacebar, uh, spacebar, KC underscore that, and I'm gonna do that. Let's just make sure this works first. I'm gonna hit save. And I'm going to hit my macro key over here. Yep, it did work. It pulled open. You can't see it because it's black, but it pulled open that right there. Now let's type in keyboard. Um, what was it? Maestro? I don't even have to type the whole thing, I think. Let's try that. Let's save it. I'm going to hit my macro key. Oh, it actually... Oh, it, it did enter at the end of it. I don't want that. Stop. Do that one. Try it again. Hit the thing. Boom. Keyboard my. I just started typing right there. That's interesting. It actually did a quotation mark which I didn't put in the thing. That's really interesting. I don't know why I added that. I don't really know. It should work anyways, I hope. So after this, let's put down a, let's, let's do manually enter. Let's see if this works. Enter. And let's delete the comma, save that. I'm gonna see if this works. I'm gonna hit my macro key right here. No, it actually searched my computer for a thing. That's super interesting. You know what? I think it's actually because I have this space here. I'm not positive. I'm gonna delete the space. Hit save, and let me hit my thing again. Ooh, look at that. Okay, that's why it was doing something weird. Keyboard Maestro. Now I just got to do an enter key. I'm going to manually do that. Let's do enter, enter. I'm actually going to delete that space right here, too. Delete that. Get rid of the comma. Put in the ending curly brace. Hit save. And if I want to open Keyboard Maestro now, I just hit the button on my keyboard. Boom. Keyboard Maestro opens right up. And I can actually continue to, like, chain on commands if I wanted to. One more for good measure. I'm actually going to open Chrome. So I'll open, uh, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to use that same Alpha program, but you could also use a Windows key. I'm going to do Chrome. I'm going to do an Enter key, Enter, and then I'm going to do, I'm already in a new tab when that happens. So I want to go keybnews.com, and then I want to do another Enter. And let's actually see if this works. Uh, again, I'm not in Chrome right now. I'm in Via, and I'm going to hit this command right here. Oh, no, I'm not, because uh, I got a new, a new tab. Chrome, and then I want to do a, oh, a left alt, left alt, and then that's uh, T. So, KC underscore T, I'm going to close that. And then I'm going to type in, oh, I did this uh, before the enter. I got to do it after the enter, so I'll delete that. Go over here, put that in, hit save. So, does this work? Yes, it does. Boom. Amazing. So, what's happening here? Uh, I'm hitting the left Windows key and the space bar. I'm holding down this and hitting the space bar. That opens up Alfred. And then I type in Chrome, which opens Google Chrome. And then I, which does that. I hit Enter, so that opens Chrome. And then I hit Left Alt, which is Command. Command T to open up a new tab. And then I type in keepnews.com. And then I hit Enter. So I'm going to do this one more time. Boom. There you go. And you can do as much of that if you want. All right. I hope you found this video useful. 
Keep News family. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe, pay me money, have my babies. I'm kidding. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you found it useful. Go check out some of the other videos on QMK and VIA in the description below this video. And have a wonderful day. Ciao.